Christ didn't get I mean, today was a day where if you were open, the ball was hitting the helmet of the defender, and you know, things have gone the guy's way all season long, and today it seemed like almost everything went the other way. Yeah, we couldn't execute. You know, those, uh, those breaks, I guess you could call them, uh, didn't go our way, and, uh, you know, Pitt played a heck of a game. Terrible. I mean, you know, every, everything was out in front of us, and uh, you know, everything was in our own control, and uh, you know, we, we gave that up, and that, among a lot of other things, is is, is terrible. It's a terrible way to end the regular season. Malik, what was that moment? Or, sorry, Carson, what was that moment like when Malik got pulled? He said that a lot of guys came up to him and were really giving him encouragement. You know, how how tough was that for all of you guys to kind of see? It's part of the game, but. Yeah, you know, we we love Malik, and, you know, we're, we're going to ride with him. And we love Evan as well, and if that's Coach's call, that's Coach's call. You know, we're, we're going to believe with and believe in whoever uh, whoever they put in, and uh, then that's what we're going to go with. But, you know, I, I still love every one of my teammates. You know, I still love our guys. And, uh, you know, we, we believe just like we did, you know, a week ago. So that, that, that hasn't changed. But, um, you know, yeah, of course, everybody wanted to pick him up because, uh, you know, that, that's rough on him. Bryson, how do you think he handled you know, being pulled I mean, for really the first time in his you know, career as a starter? How do you think he responded to it? You know, I, I think come Sunday, uh, you won't hear a word about it. You know, I think uh, Malik, Malik has that type of amnesia that uh, he, he forgets things when <clears throat> when needed to. So, you know, I, I pray it doesn't linger, and I don't think it will. You know, I think he understands that we all have his back. And, you know, we're, like I said, we're, we're going to ride with him. And uh, so I, I don't expect it for it to linger with him. You know, things happen. You know, bad games happen. And that's just uh, that's part of football. Your, your hope now, moving on, um, you still hope you guys can get in the playoffs? Obviously, you know, that's that, that, that's the goal. You know, again, you know, it, it was all in our hands and, you know, we, we gave we gave that uh that, that destiny up. But, you know, we'll figure we'll figure out what happens with that when the time comes. But for now, you know, that, that, that's still the goal. But first, you know, we, we got to go play a very good Clemson team in Charlotte next week. And, uh, you know, that, that's where all of our focus is right now. All right, so one of the things Shaq's had is, you know, team learns more about no, it's true. Losing magnifies everything. Um, you know, and winning seems to mask a lot of things. And uh, you know, we, we've we've tried to get better and better each week, and I really think we have. And this was just one of those games. Uh, no, nothing really went went right. You know, offense left a ton of plays on the field, and you know, I think defense did as well. And you know, even special teams. I mean, we just we, we just never never clicked. And it's one of those things where we have to learn everything about ourselves possible. You know, we we really we have to study ourselves and. Uh, Really look at the man in the mirror, and uh, you know, see see how we can improve uh, each one of us, and then as, as a unit. And again, you know what? It's it's one game. It's it's over with. We can't do anything about it now. So we got to learn from it, and then we got to flush it because you know we, we can't lose two games because we lost one. All right. Thank you, Bryce.